Hi, it's Allie from Inspiralized, and today we are in my kitchen and we are making a recipe for my new cookbook, Inspiralized and Beyond. We are making my lentil meatloaf with cauliflower mash. So there are two parts to this recipe. There's the cauliflower mash, which is the side of the meatloaf. And for the cauliflower, we're gonna boil and we're gonna mix it with onion powder, garlic powder, some veggie broth, and nutritional yeast. And then for the meatloaf, we're gonna be using lentils and oats, as well as walnuts, and then some cooked veggies that we toss with some tomato paste to give it a more robust flavor. So that's carrots, celery, and onions. So we have some spices here. We have parsley, basil, and oregano. And then this meatloaf specifically has barbecue sauce on the top. So now that we have all of our ingredients prepped and ready to go, we're gonna go to the stovetop and start making the meatloaf. So we're gonna set the skillet over medium-high heat. So we're gonna add in our olive oil. Now that our oil is heated up and shimmering, we're gonna add in those veggies. So we have white onion, and then we have carrot, and then we have celery, and we're gonna season those veggies with salt and pepper. And now we're just gonna stir these veggies and we're gonna cook them for about five minutes until they soften up. So now that we're done with our veggies, we're gonna grab our tomato paste and add that right in and we're gonna stir to coat the veggies. And you just wanna stir until those veggies are coated and it takes a little bit of time, just keep stirring. Now that our veggies are coated in the tomato paste, we're gonna add in our garlic and we're gonna give that a nice stir and cook it until it's fragrant, about 30 seconds to a minute. All right, so now that we have our veggie mixture, we're gonna add it straight into a food processor. So now we're gonna add in the lentil part of our lentil meatloaf. This is a healthy, lean, vegan-friendly protein. So we're gonna add that right in. And now we're gonna add in our walnuts. And now we're gonna add in our oats, and that helps bind the meatloaf together and adds a nice, healthy green. Okay, and now we just need to add in our seasonings. So we have oregano, basil, and parsley. And now I'm just gonna add on my lid here and pulse. And as you pulse this, you're gonna wanna just take off the lid and you're gonna wanna scrape down the sides as they get caught on the food processor and then just keep processing. Okay, so this is what it should look like. It should look like a loaf texture and consistency. Now we're gonna take this mixture and we're gonna spread it out in a loaf pan. All right, so we're ready to assemble the meatloaf and pop it in the oven. So I have my standard size loaf pan right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take two strips of parchment paper and add this into the pan. You wanna just bend them over the sides. And now we're ready to add in our loaf mixture. And I'm just gonna use my hands here. If you wanted, you could use a spoon or a spatula. And once that's all here, I'm just gonna push down the mixture into the pan so it's even. And you don't wanna compact it too much because then it'll be a bit too dense. So just a little bit. And now that our loaf is inside the loaf pan, I'm gonna pour over the barbecue sauce. And then I'm just gonna grab a spoon and I'm going to smooth out that barbecue sauce on top. And the final step is to just cover with foil. And the reason we're doing this is because we want it to be as moist as possible. Now we're gonna pop this into the oven at 375 degrees for about 25 minutes or until a toothpick is inserted in the middle and comes out clean. So while the meatloaf is cooking in the oven, I'm gonna make the cauliflower mash. And I just have a pot of boiling water right here. And I'm just gonna add in my cauliflower. And I'm gonna let that cauliflower boil. And that is gonna be the base for the cauliflower mash. And I'm gonna cook it for about five to seven minutes. So our cauliflower is done cooking and I'm just going to drain it into a colander and then add it to a blender to make the cauliflower mash. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab my cauliflower here and I'm just using a mesh strainer just because it has a nice big bucket and I'm gonna add that right into my blender. And now we're gonna add our seasonings. So we have nutritional yeast. So this is gonna give it a nice buttery flavor like traditional mashed potatoes, but it's a vegan ingredient. Next for flavor as well is onion powder and garlic powder. And finally, vegetable broth. And what I like to do here is just add in vegetable broth and then if it doesn't blend enough to the consistency I like, I'll add in a little bit as I go. So make sure you keep your vegetable broth off to the side in case you need to do the same. And the last ingredient is salt and pepper. So now I'm gonna add my lid to my blender and I'm gonna blend. Okay. Our cauliflower mash is done. And what I usually like to do at this point is just take a spoonful and make sure it's a nice consistency. It's not dripping down and drippy at all. It's like a nice, thick mashed potato. And I think I nailed it. OK, 
Okay, I think our meatloaf is done. So we're just gonna uncover it and take a look. It smells delicious. It smells like a meatloaf, but of course, it's a lentil meatloaf. So I'm gonna cut a slice. And depending on how you cut this meatloaf, it could make up to eight servings. So I'm gonna lift this up, and I'm just gonna add it here to my plate, and I'm gonna cut a few slices. So now I have three loaf slices, and we can repeat that with the rest of the meatloaf. And then I'm going to take the cauliflower mash that we made before, and I'm just gonna serve it alongside. It's nice and moist because we covered it with the foil, and it cooked perfectly. And for this recipe, you can check out my new cookbook, In Spiralized and Beyond, or for more veggie-centric, creative, healthy ways to eat, check out inspiralized.com.